In this video, we're going to do an extension question on serves. We're asked to express 2 over the quantity 3 root 2 minus 4 minus 3 minus root 2 over the quantity root 2 plus 1 in the form a plus b root 2, where a and b are integers. The temptation here is to get the common denominator. Instead, what I'm going to do is look at rationalising the denominator of each fraction and then simplifying. So let's start with this fraction here. We've got 2 over 3 root 2 minus 4. I'm going to rationalise the denominator by multiplying by 3 root 2 plus 4. So we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3 root 2 plus 4. This is going to give me the difference of squares. I'm going to show four workings. In the numerator, I'm going to have two lots of 3 root 2 plus the 4. I'm not going to expand that, but I will expand now the denominator. So if I multiply 3 root 2 by 3 root 2, that's going to give me 9 times by 2, which will give me 18. I'm then going to have now the plus 12 root 2, so plus 12 root 2 minus the 12 root 2, which will cancel. And then we're going to have minus 4 multiplied by 4, which is going to give us minus 16. So if we just tidy this up, in the numerator, we've got two lots of 3 root 2 plus 4 in the denominator, these two terms cancel out, and that's going to leave us now 2. We can see the 2's will cancel, so we can simply write that this will be 3 root 2 plus 4. So that now is the left fraction dealt with. Let's deal with the fraction on the right. So what we're going to have is 3 minus root 2, and then in the denominator we got root 2 plus 1. So if I want to rationalise this, I need to now multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 2 minus 1. So root 2 minus 1, and we're going to look at expanding both the numerator and the denominator. So if I go ahead now and expand the numerator, I'm going to have 3 root 2 minus 3, then I'm going to have minus 2, and then I'm going to have plus root 2. So I've expanded now the numerator, expanding the denominator shown four workings, root 2 times by root 2 is 2, then we'll have minus root 2 plus the root 2, and then we'll have minus 1. So let's now tidy the numerator. I'm going to have, we've got 3 root 2 plus root 2, that's going to give me 4 root 2, minus 5, and then in the denominator we're going to have now 2 minus 1. These two terms are going to cancel, and that will leave us 1. So we can see now that we can write this as 4 root 2 minus 5. So all we need to do now is simply do 3 root 2 plus 4 minus the 4 root 2 minus 5. We can see now that this is going to give me minus root 2 and then we're going to have plus 9. So if we do 3 root 2 minus 4 root 2, that's minus root 2. 4 minus 5, uh, minus 5 is going to give us plus 9. We need this in the form a plus root uh, a plus root b. Let's just check what they want here. Um, a plus b root 2 here. So let's go ahead and write that. So that's going to be 9 minus root 2. So the value of a is 9 and the value of b is going to be minus 1. So all we've done is simply rationalise each of these denominators. We've simplified and then subtracted away. 